Once a human embryo has been conceived, no matter what its ultimate gender, it follows a female template, adopting all female characteristics, including nipples. After a number of weeks in this state, a certain gene in the male embryo stimulates the production of the male hormone testosterone, which prompts the embryo to develop masculine qualities. While the nipples remain present, because they are formed before this process takes place and will not function in the way that if the embryo had been supplied with female hormones. Not only do male babies have nipples, but they are also born with breast tissue and milk ducts and glands. These are normally inoperative, but if men experience increased levels of female hormone estrogen and lack of testosterone, they can develop breasts like those of women and in extreme cases, even perform lactation. Because men have breast tissue, they are at risk from breast cancer, albeit to a far lesser extent than women are. It is thought by some that men might once have used nipples to help feed their young during lean times. Now that this no longer occurs, it has been asked of scientists why evolution has not done away with these superfluous male nipples. The common response is that because disease affecting these nipples are rare in men, there is no genetic imperative to do away with the nipples, and so they simply remain.